Kate. Welcome to our gallery at Cecil Place. Thank you. I'm Kate Blanche and I am the curator for the Cecil Art Collection. And my name is Funzo Sidogi and I'm the chairperson of the Cecil New Signatures Art Competition. We are here to tell you about how your work could possibly be part of this illustrious collection. And for the 2022 Cecil New Signatures Art Competition, we have chosen the notion of art beyond imagination as the main communications theme. And the reason for that, Kate, is we believe that art is more than just a pretty picture or a beautifully carved sculpture. Art transcends the boundaries of our imaginations and the limits of our skill. So the competition is open to emerging artists over 18. What does it mean to be an emerging artist? And who can enter? Kate, this is the beauty of this competition, that any person that feels they've got the skill and ability and creativity to be an artist can enter their work. As long as you've not had a professional solo exhibition and you are a permanent South African resident, you can enter the competition. And furthermore, Kate, it is completely free. You can download the entry form on the Cecil New Signatures website or pick it up at any of the collection points around the country. Of course, the big question is, what's at stake? For the winner, Kate, they will receive a hundred thousand rand in prize money, plus an opportunity to have a solo exhibition at the Pretoria Art Museum during the following year. The runner-up gets 25,000 and there are five merit awards which are awarded 10,000 Rand each. Right, so let's talk a little bit about the type of works that can be submitted and if there are any restrictions. With this competition, there aren't any restrictions to the type of art that you can submit. The only limitations we have is that each entrant can only submit two artworks Plus, you can't submit an artwork that is bigger than 250 centimeters either way. Additionally, there are some weight restrictions for those that will be submitting sculptural works, but you can consult your entry form for specifics and details on that. And lastly, for video or animated works, they cannot be longer than five minutes. The works that are submitted have to be hang-ready. Exactly what does that mean? Hang-ready does not mean that your artwork has to be framed. The key thing is to please consider your presentation. Also, just take note of the rod hanging system that is utilized by the Pretoria Art Museum, where all the works that make it past the original judging round will have to adhere to this rod hanging system. So Funzo, portraits seem to be very popular, but there are a couple of requirements when it comes to submitting portraits. Can you tell us a little bit about that? If you are interested in doing a portrait of someone that is under the age of 18, please ensure that you get written consent from either their guardian or parent. And if they are over the age of 18, please make sure that they sign the model release form, which is available in the entry form. This is absolutely essential to cover all the legal issues, but you are most welcome to submit that portrait artwork. What's the next step? Where do I have to go to? And is there a deadline? Works have to be submitted on either the 7th or the 8th of June. And we've got seven submission points throughout the country. That is in Bloemfontein, in Cape Town, in Quebeja, in Pretoria, in Johannesburg, in Pulukwane, and in Durban. Through the wonderful logistical support that we get from Stutterford Van Lines, if your work makes it through the regional judging round, it will be transported to Pretoria, so you do not have to worry about that. We are looking forward to receiving your limitless and boundless creativity, and who knows, you could be the next new signature. See you there.